2013 has been a difficult year for Regina Emanuel and her family. Her husband was killed when Boko Haram attacked St. Finbar's Catholic Church in Joss, Plateau State, the previous year. Several people were killed in the suicide bombing. Regina remembers what happened as if it was yesterday. And they hit my husband. He fell down inside, inside the church. The other police used the gun and shoot the car because they don't know what is inside, but the car is trying to, to enter. So that uh, police shoot the car. So there is bomb inside. Regina lost the family home because they couldn't afford the rent and has spent most of 2013 selling vegetables on the street to make money. But it's not been enough to live on, her daughter says. We do so much as sister, you know, like, like now, over since the last year, my mom has not paid the house rent. Many families have been affected by Boko Haram this year. The group, which wants a strict form of Islamic law imposed across Nigeria, has been behind many bombings. Hundreds of people have been killed in the attacks. Thousands of soldiers have been fighting the group since May, when a state of emergency was declared by the president to try and stop the violence. But most victims have not received any help from the authorities following attacks. This year, St. Finbar's church has been trying to get back on its feet. This is exactly where the suicide attackers detonated their explosives. And you can still see the impact of the attack just over here. Despite what happened, St. Finbar's church has reopened and Regina still attends mass here. Manuel. Regina shows us the memorial of the wreckage of the vehicle Boko Haram used in the attack that killed her husband. It's a reminder of what happened. Regina says she sometimes comes here to pray and to think. I feel, I feel bad because where did my husband stay that day? So sometimes when I come to church, my little don't like to be watching this side because what's happened? Regina wants to put 2013 behind her. She's praying that 2014 will be a better year for her and her family and that it will be the end of Boko Haram. Ivan Dege Al Jazeera, Joss, Nigeria.